here's my bike setup two front panniers on the back they are blackburn universal 17 liters uh, in between them i keep my tent poles and my sandals just strapped on with some velcro velcro uh, b17 brooks saddle uh, the rack is a nash bar rack just a universal simple one um, carbon water bottle holders just because that's what i had uh, i usually run with one gatorade bottle for putting gatorade in big top and then another smart water bottle just for the water and i do have another bottle in the back uh, these are my my front saddlebags, just two bags that I sewed together. They kind of fit, kind of don't, but they made the trip. Uh, let's see. Of course, my computer, my front light. I didn't like it on the bars, so I moved it down here to the, the fork, which I like a little bit better. And then the rear light is going to be right here. So, uh, of course, my bike tripping logo. This is a breakdown of the gear I took with me on my bike trip last summer. 2,800 miles unsupported. So everything here fits inside of those two panniers. They are the Blackburn Universal 17 liter and the top tube bag, which is just two fanny packs sewn together. For clothing, the jersey I wore most every day is this Puma soccer jersey. And it's the same shirt that I take with me on all my trips. And then off the bike, I had two pairs of Asics running shorts. Uh, they do have a liner inside, so there was no need for the underwear. Then once it started getting colder, I picked up these Indera brand thermals. Uh, I don't know anything about the brand, but they were the only ones I could find. And they are 30% wool, so that's the ones I bought. And then for bibs, these two bibs are the ones that made it to the end. Uh, this is the Louis Garneau bib and the Mavic. Uh, so the Louis Garneau is kind of on this last run and then the Mavics uh, I prefer these these are probably the most comfortable bibs I've had uh, so I'll probably end up buying another set of them and the specialized brand ones that I sent home the stitching right here started coming undone uh, which started causing some saddle sores so I got rid of those uh, the packs stuff sacks um, pack towel I don't know what brand this is because I cut all the tags off of it so it's a it's pack towel. The gloves I used are these Cannondales. Uh, they do have this mitt cover, so that goes over the fingers. Uh, so that's really nice. And then my wool buff. It's an icebreaker, 100% wool buff. Uh, so this also goes with me everywhere I go. These are my base layer. So instead of bringing a true base layer, I use these on the bike. Uh, so they're just some arm warmers, some leg warmers, and then my socks. These are GH Bass & Company wool socks. Um, so I had these for on the bike. Uh, so no holes, and they're still going strong, so good socks. Then off the bike in camp, these are my Smart Wool, a bit, little bit longer socks. My jacket was the Marmot Precip jacket. Um, I don't know how waterproof it is, just because I didn't ride in the rain. Are they ever? And then this is probably the most interesting thing I have. It is a Minions fleece throw. Uh, again, once it started getting colder, I picked this up because I couldn't find a sleeping bag. And what I ended up doing was cutting a hole in it and using it as a, a, as a poncho. So for the tent, uh, this is my Nemo Hornet one person. Uh, it's very light and packs down really small. So it was a great tent and the poles for it. Uh, my pad is the Nemo Astro 25 long. Uh, this thing has no insulation in it. So I probably wouldn't recommend it for anything other than summer camping. Uh, so I'll be in the market for a, a new bag for three season, new pad for three season. And then just the guy lines, different ropes I had with me. Um, repair. So these are the ones that I started off with. These are the Nemo equipment stakes, the ones that come with the Nemo tent. I like these, I prefer these, and uh, I'll probably end up buying more of them. Uh, one thing is, if you hit them with rock too many times, they will bend, just like all other stakes. And then I end up picking these up uh, once I got into the mountains, when I found a real outfitting store. They're the Mountain Research MSR needles. 
So I like these steaks. I'll probably keep these as my main steaks for the tent and then just supplement with the Nemo's. And then my sleeping bag. This is the Lafuma Warm and Light 800 Feel Down sleeping bag. Don't buy this. This is a terrible sleeping bag. Uh, it says the low is 7, the 30 degree comfort rating, but really the low is 30. The comfort is probably 45. Uh, I'll never use this again for anything but summer camping. And then I had with me some silk sheets um, that I used when it was really hot out instead of the sleeping bag. And then I used it to wrap the sleeping pad with to make it more comfortable. So I ended up switching my sleeping pad, sleeping bag about halfway, uh, buying the Marmot Sawtooth 15 degree. And this is the stuff sack that I bought for it. So here's the gear I needed for the bike. Uh, some lube. I ended up washing the bike probably once a week when I got the chance. Uh, so I kept it fairly clean. Uh, two tubes. Uh, one of these. This is what you use instead of duct tape to repair the tires uh, if you get a flat. And then my can opener, well, not really for the bike, but it was in the same gear. So I ate a lot of canned goods at the beginning. And then a 543 Allen, and then this wrench that I needed for some other things on the bike. And then this is my Skeletal from Leatherman. Let's see. My bike pump, this is the Road Morph. Uh, I got it because it has this gauge on it, and then at the bottom it has a little lever for the foot, so you can use it as a floor pump. Um, so highly recommend this pump. I could pump it up to about 120 pounds, uh, but usually I'd ride with around 90 or so. Uh, my computer is just a Bontrager computer. I don't know anything about it, but kept track. Uh, this is the flashlight I had. It is the Sunlight uh, Burn 150. Um, I don't know, it's a flashlight, and you can also strap it to the bike. So, good light. And then here is the rear light that I picked up somewhere in Kansas. Uh, this thing, really bright. Um, so, and it's also rechargeable, so I liked it. Um, these are the sunglasses. Well, not the actual sunglasses, but this is the type of sunglasses I had. Just some cheap, normal sunglasses. And then once it started getting too smoky in the mountains, uh, I picked up these from some gas station and I wore these for pretty much the last fourth of the trip. The helmet is a Giro Air Attack, um, no visor. And then my shoes, 661 mountain bike shoes. Uh, they are pretty much shot. Uh, I had to glue them many times and replace the insoles. Then these are the Zero Shoes z -Trex. So they're about one pound together, and you can see they're not a lot to them, uh, but they were great for in town or off the bike. And even when I want to get my feet a rest, I'd put them on, on the bike. And then, of course, some cycling gloves. These are specialized gloves. So for electronics, First thing is my keyboard. Uh, this is the Logitech keyboard. Uh, it is very light, um, very slim, easy to pack, um, holds a charge really well. Um, so great keyboard to have for blogging. And then uh, just my charger with dual ports, um, some headphones, my backup battery, and let's see, hygiene. I had just toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, chapstick, some baby wipes. These aren't flushable, but the ones I had were. And then I had a bowl. This is not the bowl. Ended up tossing it. And then just some disposable spoon that I had with me. And then I had the Sawyer Mini. Uh, everyone talks about the flow rate on this thing. I had no problems with it, so I'll carry it for my next one. And let's see. Water bottles. I carried a Gatorade bottle. Uh, just because it was easy to open and fill with powder, electrolytes. And then I had one other bottle on the bike and then one smart water bottle in my pack, um, unfilled, unless I was going on a longer trek. This is the gear that I end up sending home. Uh, this is a bandana from Adventure Cycling Association. 
a pair of long pants from Eddie Bauer. They're their travel pants. Um, two pairs of underwear, uh, smart wool, and then my Anchor PowerPort Solar. Uh, it's a 15 watt solar panel. It's really light, but I only used it maybe twice. Let's see. Oh, my tablet. Uh, so this is a Samsung tablet. Uh, I used it quite a bit for blogging, but it got to a point where I didn't need it. It's just heavy. Uh, so in the pile. And then my GoPro. So when I when my phone and GoPro both died, I had to get a new phone. When I did, they gave me the tablet. Uh, so I ended up sending the tablet and the GoPro back home. And then I started off with the three shelters, tent, tarp, and hammock. Uh, ended up liking the tent the best. So my hammock setup is just Eno Double with Amsteel Blue cords and then some webbing from some tie downs. So no need for carabiners or anything. And then this is a 10 by 10 tarp. And then with the tarp, I had some extra stakes so I could stake out my tent and my tarp together. And these things are just Koglins. I was gifted these in, I think, Douglas, Wyoming. Um, so they're just Walmart brand. And then this is assortment of all the gear, just random things that I sent home. So spoke tools. I don't know why I had two, but I did. Mirror. This thing lasted about two weeks before it died. So that whistle, uh, stainless steel whistle, a little heavy. Don't need that. Beard trimmer. I just, I gave up. So that got sent home. But yeah, so that is all of my gear. Oh, and the phone. There it is.